What's up guys? We're doing another quick day of eating. Last week we showed you what the meal looked like really fast when it was done. Today I'm showing you the prep, what the meal looks like before I make it, and then hopefully at some point in the future uh, where I get zapped by lightning and energized, we'll do a full day of eating that we used to do. Well, I brought home the wrong sausage, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'll either have the breakfast lean sausage or today, the plain lean sausage. Both are excellent and delicious. Our carbohydrate base for the meal is organic quick oats. We have these on uh, Frankie's Strange Foods. I'm really happy these don't give me a headache. When I used to eat the uh, pre-packaged stuff, this, I always got like some type of headache or something, probably from the additives and ingredients in it. And uh, these steel cut oats, which we also have on the foods website, these just take a while to make. You gotta do them overnight. So. This is as quick of a healthy breakfast as you can really make. I'll put a little bit of salt and sometimes some oil in the oats, but I always put some vanilla bean and I put in organic sugar and sometimes I'll add some organic honey as well. And uh, I'll even put some maple syrup on the sausages just a little bit. And the final part of my breakfast is an organic honey crisp apple, which I have with every meal. Breakfast is where I take most of my supplements. So we took some zinc already this week. We took some vitamin C yesterday. Uh, we took some B-complex yesterday. Uh, might do selenium tomorrow. I think we're just going to do a few magnesium pills today. And uh, maybe a little bit of vitamin K2. We already did vitamin K2 this week, so I don't usually do it more than once a week. But supplement-wise, we're just going to do the masticum and some magnesium. So that's been my breakfast normally. Uh, once or twice a week, I'll have some lamb testicles for testosterone, and then uh, another day I'll do some uh, third eye glandular powders, like the pineal pituitary glands. Uh, we don't have them in stock on the website. I just have some left over. I'm going to try to get some for you guys in a month or two, uh, maybe sooner. But that's going to be it for breakfast. So uh, I'm going to get that ready. I gotta edit a video and then we're gonna go down to the warehouse to work and then we'll come back home for lunch. Cause I can't eat any normal food. Just got back from work, it's around 3.30. I am dressed like an old man. Uh, pretty quick day, only a few hours of stuff to do in the warehouse. However, you know, I spent like all morning filming just to kind of catch up on some content. So uh, let me show you guys my lunch real quick. We have our sourdough bread I baked this morning. Still trying to figure out the hydration because the humidity here has been absolutely wild. And the main factor in the bread rising really well is getting the hydration percentage right. So still working on that. Uh, we got some prime rib and some roast beef. You know, we usually have leftovers every week that are going to get thrown out anyway. So what I do is I'll, I'll take them home and have them for lunch almost every day. And then we have our white bean puree that we're going to dip the bread in kind of like a hummus. This is white beans, shiitake mushrooms, uh, artichoke spread, everything organic, of course, and then just some coconut oil and salt in there. So it's very, very minimally inflammatory. We have the balance of the starch, the dense calories in the bread. We have the animal protein, the cholesterol, the vitamins, the nutrients, and then we have a lot of fiber, and this is also very rich in minerals from the beans and the mushrooms. Uh, for dessert, we have our honey crisp apples. I actually go through three bags of these every week. So I think the apple organization or whatever it is in the United States owes me some money. U.S. Apple Farmers Association, you guys better write me a check. Hey, listen, since I'm such a gentleman, uh, I will take lesser reciprocation of perhaps one of those bisexual Asian girls that work on your farms for like slave labor every year. Listen, it doesn't even have to be one of the pretty ones. Like, I'm being very reasonable here. How much have I increased Honeycrisp Apple sales solely on my own? Is there a glare on the screen? Oh. That's my little rant. Oh yeah, so, so the apple is just, as I've said many times, you guys that have been watching my day of eatings, high volume, water, variety of sugars that the liver needs to process because if you just eat starch and fiber you're not utilizing all the enzymes and all your body's digestive capabilities so it's nice to have a balance of certain things and of course 
Apple is like a nice little dessert uh, after the meal. Oh, I'll show you guys real quick. I do have some water kefir in the fridge and we have some uh, water kefir brewing on the counter here. Uh, I've been taking it basically every day for the past few weeks, but now for a few days, we're taking a break from the water kefir. However, we do have it uh, in stock on frankiestrangefoods.com. This is just the heating pad around here because this really has to be between like 77 and 85 degrees in order for it to, to really ferment and not take a long time. But that's going to be lunch, guys, so we'll see you for dinner. Hopefully not at 1 a.m. like last time. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back for dinner. It's been like a quiet, rainy, gloomy day here in PA. It's about 60, 65 degrees, so I'm actually really happy about how much milder the temperature is uh, compared to New York. Uh, we did some spice mixtures for the potato chip today, so hopefully we have those next week. And uh, did some R&D for... Uh, the organ supplements powders coming back in so i'm always doing work and stuff on my computer probably <laughs> more than anyone should have to do in their lifetime but let me show you the prep for dinner so i've been having white fish for dinner now that i have access to a high quality source we're gonna do some cod today just a light all-purpose flour dredge on the outside with some salt almost everything here guys we have on frankie's free range meat and frankiestrangefoods.com. You can literally, I think, get just about everything in this picture because we have the cod and the collagen broth on the meat website. We have the flour, the salt, the noodles on the foods website, and then uh, the, the white bean puree. We have beans, we have artichoke spread. The only thing we don't sell in this is the mushrooms. We even have the, the oil on the website here. So uh, if this isn't the definition of practice what you preach, I don't know what is. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, boil the udon noodles in filtered water for a few minutes, then use the collagen broth and white bean puree to make like a pasta sauce. And then on the side, I'm going to have the cod uh, saute just in the pan. You guys know the theme, liver detox, giving the body enough protein, amino acids, B vitamins to keep the liver highly functioning, and then uh, some extra protein and amino acids. Collagen broth, really, really helpful for gut health. And I sleep a little bit better when I have it in the diet. And then the white bean puree, the soluble fiber, the bulk with the starch combined, it's giving like a, a kind of sponge to soak up everything coming out of the liver. Can't forget, we're going to have another apple with dessert, guys. And I'm going to have some masticum and charcoal with my dinner honestly a hard time gauging whether the charcoal is helping that much or not uh, when i take the masticum i think if you didn't take masticum and you took charcoal then you would notice a more significant difference but they have kind of a similar effect in, in kind of soaking tox and helping the liver detox but that's going to be it for the vlog this week guys uh, if you do want to support me you can go to frank stefanocom I mean, guys, I'm tired. I've been doing this nonstop every day of my life since uh, basically 2017. So, you know, let's just say a lot more people have done a lot less to get a lot more. And uh, I mean, there's still a lot of things I'd like to do on the um, on the foods end of stuff with the farm and the dairy and the meat. But um, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. You know, I've been, I've been doing the same thing every day for, for a really long time. So... When you guys do support the businesses and, and help keep things going, it, it really does help out. And uh, there's a lot of things that I haven't really been able to talk about online uh, for one reason or another that you guys don't really know about. But um, you guys can see everything on frank Uh reason I'm bringing that up is because like I like to sit down and do longer videos and do uh, the more in-depth days of eating that you guys are used to. Maybe we'll try that next week. Maybe not. We'll see. Thanks again for joining, guys. I'll see you soon.